Right, well, another little video which concerns the uh, Walco WM180 lathe. And this is going to be a little video about um, radius cutters and radius cutting on the lathe. Now, occasionally, I need to be able to cut a radius on a piece of work, particularly with my model steam engines, um, and I need to do this on my lathe. Now, there are several ways to do this. Um, probably ball cutting attachment is the most common one, and I don't actually have one of those, although hopefully I will have one at some point. Um, you can also get lathe radius cutting tools, but they seem to be quite hard to come by. There is, however, another method, which is to use milling machine radius cutters. This is a little selection of uh, uh, milling machine radius cutters, which I bought from eBay several years ago. Um, they have different size shafts. Um, these four, the thick part of the shaft is uh, 25 mil. Um, these two have, uh, these are 16 mil. Let's see, let's see, see the end of this here. See, see what they look like. Um, and these little ones here, they have a 12 mil shaft. Now, um, if you've got a like, milling attachment for your lathe, or you're able to clamp the work to the tool post, these cutters can be used as they would be on a mill. You simply put them into the chuck on the lathe and away you go. However, there is another way to use them on the lathe. Um, if you have an attachment that allows them to be clamped to the tool post, then they can be used as a conventional lathe tool. Now my original lathe was a small grind turn modeler's lathe. Uh, and these, these are some adapters that I made up to allow me to use the smaller of the cutters uh, and clamp them to the tool post. And basically, it's uh, fairly simple. Um, the the cutter fits into the end of the adapter like that. You use a set screw to tighten it up, and then this would clamp to the tool post. And uh, this one was the same. This one took these 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 size cutters, so they basically slide in there, straighten them up, tighten up the set screw, and then you're good to go. Um, and basically I was thinking about doing something similar so that I could use these cutters on my walker lathe um, and as I said they have three different shaft diameters uh, and then I remembered that the um, the cross drilling attachment that I made for the tool post on my walker lathe had a 25mm fixing hole so the larger cutters should fit into that attachment quite happily Okay, well here's the uh, cross slide uh, drilling attachment which I've made, which I've used many times since I made it, and uh, it's been proved to be extremely re useful. So we just take the uh, chuck out, and these should, in theory, fit nicely in there. Yes, there we go, look at that. So that's fine for these, and that one but we need something for that. So, um, cue another lump of aluminium. Ta -da. Uh, this will be even simpler than the, uh, than the uh, cross slider block. Cause all we basically need to do with this is, um, drill a mounting hole like that for the, um, uh, tool post stud. And then uh, on one face we'll drill a 16 mil hole and on the other face we'll drill a 12 mil hole then put some set of screws in the top. Um, and I think we're, uh, we're good to go. I mean what I will do I think is also put an index mark on the side uh, so that I know exactly where the, to, so I can line the cutter face up so that it's dead square. Um, but um, I, think, uh, I, think, I think that'll do the trick. Right, well, I've uh, set the height gauge here to exactly 30 mil. Then we're gonna use uh, poor man's marking blue on the aluminium block, which is a permanent marker, Sharpie type thing. Um, and this does perfectly all right for this kind of marking out. We're not, as I said, we're not being anything sort of super accurate here. This will do the trick nicely. I'm just going to cover it in some 
Yeah, I'm probably going to need a new Sharpie sooner or later. Right. <coughs> um, place that on the old marking out table. Very, very simple. And we just scribe a line that way. And then I'm going to turn it up the other way and come in from the other side. There you go. Job done. Oh, you can see that. And we'll centre punch that. <clears throat> and um, um, I can't remember what, what size the stud is. I think it might be 12 mil. I'll have to go and measure that. But um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll use a, uh, uh, a centre drill to centre that. And then I'll go straight in with the... I won't bother with a pilot drill. This is aluminium. It's soft as anything. So the, the 12 mil drill will go through that like butter. So that's not a problem. So we'll do a drill stud hole. And this is obviously the underside because this will need to be... Um, counterboard as well because obviously there is a there is the raised um, washer which is part of the tool post that, that is um, on the bottom of the stud so we'll do that on the uh, drill press next okay here we are on the drill press so I'm just gonna center drill this to start with oh and as Mr. Pete so rightly says always wear your safety glasses <laughs> That's the centre drill done. Right, back with the drill press again. This time we've got the 10mm uh, drill in the in the press because that's the shaft diameter for the uh, tool post on the Walco lathe. Um, incidentally, the drill press I've got running at, uh, it's running at 1280, but you can go up to about 2500 RPM this size drill. Uh, cutting through aluminium, so this this is this is fine. This is well, I decided to spare you several minutes of drilling the drill press. I'm sure you got the idea from the previous clip. So after drilling the hole, uh, here we go. Um, yeah, that that went that went through nicely. Um, uh, basically, I lined the centre of the hole up with the lathe chuck uh, and clamped it to the tool post. Then I used an end mill to to do this counterbore on the underside because there is a raised shoulder underneath the uh, at the bottom of the tool post stud on on the lathe. Um, now we can go back to the lathe, mount it, and uh, work out where we're going to put our holes.